I think Alex kind of redeemed himself a little bit in this one. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. If a little. If only only the Alex we saw in this book was the Alex that was in his book. I would have hated him a lot less. Yeah. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Woody Banter Book Club podcast. I am Maddie, here with... Courtney, hello. And today we will be reviewing the third book in the Twisted series, Twisted Hate by Anna Huang. And I know that you you ladies out there have been just reeling, waiting for us to be talking about this yeah. one. I see your comments. Chomping at the bit. Yes, you guys, now. you guys love our twisted reviews so far. Like we, those are our two most listened to episodes, <laughs> Twisted One and Twisted Two. So I know you guys are waiting for Twisted Three. Um, here's the thing about this third book, okay? There are parts of it that I actually enjoyed. There are parts of this book that I hated. And I think I think everybody here will be really interested to hear me say this. I think Alex kind of redeemed himself a little bit in this one. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. If a little. If only only the Alex we saw in this book was the Alex that was in his book. I would have hated him a lot less. Yeah. The appropriate amount of aggression. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Uh, the, the the conflict at the end of this book absolutely is appalling to me. Bananas? Bananas and what he does is so disgusting to me that I... I If you're a Josh stan, get out of here. You're going to yeah. hate this. You, you're going to hate this. But if you're an Alex stan and you listen to me talk about which I hate Alex, a little bit of redemption in this one. All right. Yeah. So... This episode, I'm hosting. Um, so let's talk about Twisted Hate. Twisted Hate follows the best friend of Ava Chen, who was the main female love interest in the first book. And in this book, the best friend's name is Jules. And Ava's brother, Josh. Now, it's kind of like the first book in that it's best friend's uh, sibling trope. Mm -hmm. Um that's the same trope that's in this book also. Um, so Jules and Josh hate each other. They just, they don't like each other. They're not really seeing eye to eye. They've always just kind of not really gotten along and never really vibed well together. Um, so Jules is like our lovely Courtney here, a law student. And uh, Josh is... He's not, he's done with medical school, but he's in his first or second year of residency. So he has to do like his residence in the United States. You have to do residency after you go to you go to medical school. So he and Jules are kind of like at the same point in their life. Josh is slightly older. He's like 28 years old and Jules is 25. And they are both working really hard to become professionals in their respective fields. So they have that in common going in. Um, and they also really love Ava, which is something else they also have in common. But that's it. Other than that, yeah, no, they're dunzos. They're not vibing well together. Um, things are going fine. You know, they're allowed to hate each other until one weekend when I know. <laughs> Anyhow, one weekend, um, you know, Jules is like, you know, I was going to, like, go on – or not Jules. Ava's like, you know, I had, like, this weekend planned um, for us to go to, like, this really fancy ski resort. And I thought that, like, Josh can come and Jules can come and it'll be, like, super fun. My best friends and your best friend, Alex, because Alex and Josh are currently not speaking. They're, they're, they've they ended poorly because I think that it's – if you found out that your best friend was only your friend so that he could kill your dad, um, I think that would damper anybody's friendship. Oh, yeah, and then also, like, messed around with your sister, but had no intention of mm -hmm. being for realsy about it. Yeah. Breaking her so, heart. Yeah. But I think, like, the killing dad thing also was kind of a little... I know, but... Unforgivable. Josh himself is the one who emphasized the most that it was, like, about Ava. Yeah. I think... I don't know... We'll get into it, but I think that that was kind of him. I don't because part of his like character arc is that he's like also upset at his dad. But I mm -hmm. think that Alex only being his friend for so many years just to 
like get revenge was what made him the most mad. Um, okay, so anyway, they go on this trip and they get to the place and they're like, sorry, Mr. Volkov, this is Alex they're speaking to, but your room has been changed. Like you can't have this really fancy room. And Alex being Alex is like, I'll I'll kill you. Like yeah. random re- receptionist lady, like I'll murder you for not appropriate. Yes. Um so she's like, okay, I'm so sorry. Let me give you the next best one. So they, they go to the next best one. They go up to the room. There's two, like, rooms off of it. And they're expecting it to be, like, two beds and yeah. then, like, one bed. They go up there. Ava and Alex go off to their bed. Jules and Josh go off to their room to find one bed. <laughs> one single one bed. One single bed. Only one. What will they do? who knows actually nothing happens on this trip yeah. but yeah. uh <laughs> unfortunately the one bed trope was not used to its uh number it's one teased. yes exactly so uh during this trip you know josh and jules they kind of get a little bit closer jules also decides that she's gonna go work at this like medical lawyer clinic med- medical law clinic where they provide both medical advice and legal advice based off of like people's, I'm guessing social service cases. So um, they decide she decides she's going to work there, but guess who else works there? Josh. And even though she and Josh were kind of, you know, having a good time together on this trip, uh, she decided they're still not going to be buddy, buddy. Like they're still not going to be friends. So they come up with an agreement to be professional at work, but still hate each other in their free time. Well, right. things advance. They're getting along really well at work because it turns out if you have the same work ethic as somebody else and you're around them a lot, you're bound to start getting along a little bit. So they start hanging out. You know, somebody's flirting with Josh and she's like, haha, it's so funny that he's flirt- that somebody's flirting with you. But then somebody flirts with Jules and he's like, how dare that person even look in your direction? <laughs> so already we're getting possessive Josh things just move progressively like pretty quickly honestly from there they decide that they're gonna start um hooking up and they're gonna start no like a friend strings attached yeah they decide they're gonna start a no strings attached sort of relationship and then it just proceeds on from there this book has twists it has turns it has unexpected endings and it has one thing that all the other books also have and that is this certain cadence that Anna Wong does that just really irritates me it's when she says like one thing one thing one thing like like one word period one word period one word period she does it so many times that it actually detracts from the books at points so if you're interested in that that's that's what this book's about (laughs) um Essentially, I, I mean, like, the book overall was, uh, it was kind of like if Twisted Love had been written better. That's kind of what I'm going to, like, say what it is. Twisted yeah. Love just sucked. Like, I hated that. I hate that book. Like, I still hate that book to this day. Um, And it has definitely improvements that we saw in Twisted Games, but it is very similar to the first book in the series. Yeah, it's a... Uh... It's a, I don't want to say a happy medium, but it's a happy medium between the two, to be honest, which is interesting. Uh, Maybe it's a, every odd book is a little off. Every even book is good. At this point, we've got to finish it out because we've been through two of these books. So Mm -hmm. we have to hope that the last one's, I mean, this one wasn't terrible, but uh, yeah, there were parts that I definitely did not enjoy to be sure yes um we'll talk about in the spoilers but there are definitely parts of this book that i absolutely dis what he does what he does actually made me sick like it made me feel sick to my stomach yeah i was pretty messed up yeah anyhow i know all right, so we're going to start with our reviews. If this is your first time, 
watching us, the way that the reviews work is we start out with just like a general review, rating it on a scale of one to five, you know, based off of these certain pillars that we like. So we have four main pillars that we go off of, and that is the character development, the realism, the smut, and the witty banter, of course. Um, then we give it a general rating out of five. We also are going to talk about whether or not we'd recommend this book to our younger sisters, and if we would recommend this book to a reader in general. So let's start with those. So Courtney, would you recommend this book to your younger sisters? Uh, no. No, these this series isn't appropriate for underage people. No, it is not. Not for that crowd. Sorry. Mm -mm. No, Harry I would Potter, not either. Harry Potter, Harry Potter episodes are for you. Yeah. I, okay, listen. Team Boy's rubbing off on me. I've started calling Harry Terry. Yeah. I know. Every single word. What did I call? I peevis. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, yeah, the Harry Potter episodes are for you, underaged folks, or for you mm -hmm. moms betting books. These are not. So. No. So, would you recommend this book to a reader in general, then? Um, probably if they liked the second one, like, if they like the first one, then yeah, obviously it's like in your vein. If you like the beginning books of this series and you haven't gotten to this one, I'd say you should read it. Just, I mean, it wasn't like a huge waste of time. It's not as good as Twisted Games, so just be ready for that. But uh, in general, it's hard when you look at this book independently of like the series, because I feel like I have to recommend the whole series at this point. But, right, because like, it's the third book maybe not to all of my not to everyone who would ask what kind of book they should read even in like the smut category probably not but there's some people I yeah think I know who would like it I don't what makes me so mad is I, I was really enjoying this book up until that part and so like I, it's hard to say whether or not I I would say I would read it but read like only the first 100 350 pages and then stop after they get together just stop reading um that's the end result anyway yeah so um let's move on to our pillars <laughs> um would you okay let's start with uh the witty banter so what did you think of the witty banter in this book uh well enemies to lovers is always ripe for some good tension and banter uh, I liked most of it. So <laughs> Sorry, my cat has to contribute. Um, that being said, like, there were parts of their banter that made me cringe a little bit at certain points. So I'll give it, like, a four, I think. I think that was okay. one of the stronger elements of that book in particular. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought that the banter in this book was pretty good. It made me laugh. It made me cringe at times, but it did make me laugh. And I did like their like chemistry that they had. I just like the like enemies to lovers, work rivals sort of mm -hmm. like Force relationships. Proximity. Yeah, yeah. Work rivals is always a good one because it's like, what are you gonna do? Quit your job? <laughs> Fine. And it's always it always happens to be both of their dream jobs too. So like, what are they gonna do? Yeah, exactly, exactly. I so I would, I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a four. I think it was okay. Good. Now let's do the character development. So what did you think of the character development in this book? Aside from the one instance, it would have been pretty good. We kind of just threw it all away with that, Josh. Mm -hmm. He's got some issues with his dad, and he's been putting off avoiding with them, letting things like fester and build up. Comes to a point where he has to confront his dad or face him at least, and he just kind of like, you know, he gets what he needs out of it and walks away and moves on. So I thought that was pretty good. You know, some people, uh, even if they're your family, like, it's okay if you don't want to speak to them anymore. Uh, and that's one particular instance where it was obviously very okay. Um, Jules, she doesn't trust people. She had a rough childhood. 
Uh, I mean, she, like, kind of trusts her friends. She starts to open up to Josh, but um, she's also just dealing with something that makes her really anxious. Um, A little blast from the past she wishes would not reappear. Um, And, like, I didn't love the way she handled that. There has to be some sort of conflict. You, like, have to write that into the story. Mm -hmm. But I just didn't like the way she handled that a ton. Uh, and then, like, these books always love a good, like, break up and get back together. And I've said this before, but most of the time I hate that. I'm not, like, I like it when they can work through the confrontation together. There has to be, like, some final issue, some final thing that they have to overcome always. But, like, I don't know, the way that they, like, parted ways initially was just so awful that it was like ooh, i don't even know if i want them to like get back together um so that made it really tough i i think it's like gosh it's so hard but i think it really detracted from the story so i almost want to give it like a two yeah i so i think that it was doing really well because it set out their flaws and what they needed to work on very early on and then they worked on that throughout the book and then they break up at that towards the end before they get back together and when their breakup is like i've mentioned already like 500 times it actually is disgusting like it it made me not feel great and it made me despise josh and there's nothing mm-hmm. that he could do to redeem himself from that yeah no i 100 percent agree like uh, Jules needs to go to therapy. She does not need Josh. She needs to go to therapy after all this. Before all and this, don't, she don't... needed to go to therapy. True. True. Uh, but it's, like, listen, like Jules had good character development and I think like she regressed after their breakup, which I think is mm-hmm. not good. And Josh just became like a totally different person. He became like Alex Volkov from book one. Yeah spiraling and mean yes no to be fair and things we never got over something very similar happens in that book that happens at the end of this book and i also called it out in that book too i know but this one felt so much worse i think it's because Knox was doing it because he thought that's what was best for them and josh was doing it to be mean true i also just like Knox more but valid yeah (laughs) um so okay let's talk about the smut in this book um surprisingly no pool scene um there's a line where she talks about how there's a pool on her roof and i was like are we gonna no. get another pool scene <laughs> i no. genuinely thought we were anyway <laughs> what did you think of the smut in this book uh i mean it was pretty intense there was Okay, there was one time, sorry, it's, it's there's motorcycles outside. Yeah, it's Knox Morgan on his way. They're, they're revving out. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, okay, I just lost my train of thought because of that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. There's one, okay, towards the end, we make up, he's like, I'm gonna make you mm, this amount of times. And I was like, that does not sound pleasant at all. <laughs> Speaking of that, there's actually a line that I literally marked in here. I can't say what it says. Do you have your book? Yeah. It's on page 150. Okay. And it's, like, right in the middle. Oh, God. Okay, anyway, we're we're back from our detract. Um, It was there. So There was a lot of it. Some parts of it, I was like, "Eh." Mm, was spicy. And again, Spice is a very arbitrary rating category because there's a lot of different factors that go into it. My gut tells me three. I, yeah, that sounds about right to me. It was just, like, very, um, how do I, like, it was just very, like, fantasy. Like, like, fantasy books, I'm talking. Like, it's Mm -hmm. just very, like, not real life, like, fantasy level smut 
I can so see I'm also that. gonna I'm also gonna give it a three for that. Fair. So our last category is the realism of this book. Um, <laughs> Courtney, what do you think of the parts of it? Uh, the ending was a little crazy, for sure. A smidge. I'm gonna give it a three. Um, also, uh, I'm gonna give it a three also. Uh, actually, I'm gonna give it a two, because it was just so unrealistic. Like I said, it kind of, like, now that I've said it, it kind of, like, borders the line of fantasy, but, like, f- like real-life fantasy. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, a so true work of fiction. Yeah, not, like, based in our world that we live in. No. No, this is in the alternative world. Um, I was going to say also for the smut, there's another line that was mentioned twice in this yeah, book. You texted me about it. Yes. Okay. I, what is this wording that she did? Like, what is the wording? That also just, like, does not sound pleasant to me. No. I don't know. Um, if there you're curious, also... I'll just give you... Oh, oh no. You, I'll just you give don't. you the first two words of what it is. The words are obscene slapping. So that can mean many of things. Google what the rest of that line is. Yeah. E. Um, anyways, also notably, though, there were two diabetic jokes. I counted because I was like, after the first one, I was like, oh, that's fine. And then there was a second one. And I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a second. Did you feel attacked? Um, no, I just thought it was like, I'm like, pick another disease to make a joke about, I guess. Like, I don't, why are they, and it's always, this is, I mean, this is always the joke people make about diabetes, right? It's like the oh, if you eat that much sugar, you're gonna get it. What is that noise? It's my cat. They're, dude, they're being menaces, all of them. They're obscene, obscenely slapping one another. <laughs> uh, they're actually tearing up my furniture right now. Uh, oh, but, slay. Yeah, I don't know. Must be like a full moon or something. <laughs> Sorry, he on. Okay, he's been removed from the area. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but the joke is always like, oh, you eat so much sugar, or you eat too much sugar, you're gonna get diabetes. And, like, I don't take personal offense to that. I just was like, why is it in here twice? And also, I think she made fun of it mostly because diabetes is not real. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, it's just something that you made up so that you could get all special attention. Okay. <laughs> The ADA is going to be watching this. Like, okay, I know. Friends. They're like, they're like, this is a violation. Um, this is a partnership. She's not my employee. It's okay. <laughs> um, but for those of just a little side note, I don't have diabetes because I ate too much sugar. Uh, so Stephanie are... still thinks you did. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I started to get sick with diabetes at my friend's birthday party when we were like seven so bless her heart um anyways like that is one way people get diabetes but if you see us lurking on the streets it doesn't mean that's why if you see a diabetic in the wild <laughs> sometimes we're just genetically inferior okay that's this is me on my safari hunt for diabetics no work required i uh as one of my old college friends like to used to say uh, i didn't earn it so <laughs> <laughs> anyways two okay strokes, so um yes i also noted though i think i marked them because i was gonna <laughs> them up. trust me i did not make them. again i would have been fine yeah. with one i just don't understand why two you know Yes. What's up with that? Uh, 
Um, okay, so overall, what would you rate Twisted Hate? Three. Uh, same. Like, it is, an, it is an easy three. I was on the border of giving it a two, but I didn't hate it so much like the majority of the book i enjoyed like i enjoyed and i li- liked reading it but like from the breakup on i was just not interested anymore i had lost interest i also think that this book was just slightly too long like sure. why is this book 500 pages there could have been why? like 200 less in here in this why book. is this book almost as long as harry potter and the goblet of fire (laughs) there's no discernible reason there's no voldemort in this book we don't need it to be this long yeah i it definitely i mean it probably could have been like 300 pages for sure yes um and for me it would have been like it was almost a four maybe and then that one instance just brought it down so so hard yeah um but the, see it was a, it was at a four for me also until that point but then that instance disturbed me so much i brought it down to a two but then i felt too bad giving it a two so i gave it a three yeah happy intermediate happy yeah. medium okay well um we're gonna move on to our spoiler Ooh. section but before we do that we're gonna take a real quick ad break please listen to it because it helps support the channel i know we all hate ads but please it helps support us yeah thank you we're back we're gonna talk about the spoilers in the spoilers section so um what do you want to talk about first i feel like we should wait to talk about the ending because there are some parts in the beginning that we should talk about also Yes. Okay. So Jules, the the big thing for her, she had a little bit. She was a little bit of a bad girl. Um, she had mommy issues. Lord knows how that could damage a woman. Not me. I love my mom. Um, but <laughs> but uh, and I'm not just saying that because she watches this. <laughs> um. Anyways, she did a bad thing. She brought well, her stepdad did bad thing and her mom blamed her her mom kicked her out and then she did a bad thing and she robbed her wealthy stepdad with this dude who is just bad news right and little 17 18 year old jules she made a sex tape with him and he no it's different guy different guy okay anyways he has a sex tape of her and so he resurfaces after he went to jail and he's like i um forgive you but you will have to do a favor for me and then he just taunts her um the whole time sends her pictures from the video and stuff and like yeah it's produces a lot of anxiety for her Uh, i think the way it was written like it makes it easy for a reader to like feel that anxiety like a lot of the anxieties that she, she experiences throughout the book um she also is in this close proximity with josh um yeah they the whole ski trip thing i was like ava in what world is this a good idea uh because everyone here except for like you and alex like each other and you and you and jules like each other everyone else well and ava and josh everyone else hates each other though so like it's a it's not a good mix. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we didn't even really get anything out of, like, the shared bed. So I was like, what no. was the point, Anna? She, like, gets period cramps, and then he's like, oh, I'm a doctor. I can help you. And I don't know why, but that made me cringe. Like, I was just like, uh, okay. It's not like a serious medical condition. Like, yeah, everyone yeah. else had to deal with that yeah Meat pack tylenol yeah be different and if she's like oh my my appendix is about to burst 
And he's like, good thing I'm a doctor. And then he performs, like, life-saving surgery on her. Yeah. Unrealistic, but I would have liked that more. <laughs> true. So true. But it's also just, like, you don't need to – newsflash, you don't need to be a doctor to help a woman out. Yeah. So, yeah, that part made me cringe. But they, like, have, like, some bonding because, like, he helps her learn how to ski. And Josh yeah. is, like, very big into, like – adrenaline he's like an adrenaline junkie like he's like big travel, into like a he wants to do a triple black diamond whatever that I means know. i can't even ski he and alex go he on he and alex go up on a ski like go up on this mountain together and then they like ski down and i'm like okay just two bros skiing not even bros yeah two enemy <laughs> and they would be great enemies to lovers Yes, they, yes. <laughs> so that was great. Um, he's all, uh, Josh is also like really upset and like complaining a lot because like he doesn't want to like, hang out with Alex and everybody's like, just get over it, dude. Just get over it. And I'm like, okay, you guys are not thinking about this in a broad scope of things. I think Josh's anger is perfectly rational yeah. in this situation. <laughs> and you're all like, just get over it. Just stop being so upset about it. Yeah, why are you so mad? He only lied to you and yeah. screwed your sister. Yeah, and put your dad in yeah. jail. He only yeah. almost destroyed your entire family. Yeah. So, yep, everything was, everything was going fine. I don't know. Everything's fine. It's nothing really interesting is even happening. Like, it's just whatever alex and josh talk and like things progress with them a little bit but not really they're like maybe we should hang out when we go back to the to the real oh, world yeah. by the way this this all this introduction takes a hundred pages for some reason so then um he gives her a massage and she's like oh, you're so good at getting massages okay girl yeah all right um Oh, then Jules is talking about, so she th when the book starts, she like goes out on a date with this guy named Todd and she like gets stood up and I, it's always a guy named Todd and there's always a joke about him being a fisher with like the traditional, you know, hinge yeah. profile picture. Anyhow, um, she, she runs into Todd at like a bar and, and Josh is there and this is the conversation that she has with Todd. If by the other day, you mean almost a month ago, then apology not accepted, Jewel said coolly. You also never texted me, but that's okay. Here's where I laughed. I suffered a massive lapse in judgment. Can you tell me what that's from? No. Logan Paul's apology video. Wow. Side so note, there's like one or two cultural references in this book. They're a little bit older. Um, but also there was, okay, authors, hear me now, please. Quit putting Not Today Satan in your books. Please. It's old. You know what I was actually going to- It's annoying. It was cringy when it was popular. You know what I was going to bring up to you? Mm -hmm. Um, do you remember in Set on You how many Lizzo references there were? How poorly those have aged. I was just thinking that, like, this morning when I was on TikTok scrolling through all those So videos. bad. She made that whole book, her whole personality about being a Lizzo fan. I bet you that, I can't even remember the main character's name now. I bet you she is... Humbled. Not happy. No. Yes. Um... Yeah. Anyhow. Um, then they kind of just start hooking up and things go awry quickly. They're like, oh my gosh, we're, this was great, but this can never happen again. And then, of course. At page 150. Yeah, of course it happens again. <laughs> they also, like, um, they go little uh, side note from the previous book. They jump into Bridget's wedding. That's like what two chapters? 
Yeah, they go to Bridget's wedding, and I'm like, mm-hmm. okay. Kind of random. Oh, yeah, and then they get arrested. I was like, okay. It's trying so yeah. hard to be things we never got over. So Which hard. Not good enough. Never no. will be. Um, nope. I don't know. Listen, Anna, maybe send Lucy an email, you know? Ask her how <laughs> yes. she does it. Maybe you guys could collab on something. Um, yeah. Yeah, and then, like, he gets jealous at the wedding, but they're, like, not really into – I I was, it was yeah. you know, the back and forth. The will they, won't they. Yes, because a, so- a soccer star, like, takes notice of her, and I'm picturing Jamie Tart, <laughs> like, the entire time in my head. Jamie That's Tart. who I'm seeing trying – Jamie Tart. <laughs> yeah, that's who I'm seeing. Uh, we also find out that she changed her – Jules changed her name legally. She is originally Jules Miller, but she changed her name to Jules Ambrose. Which is a stripper name. Mm-hmm. Which <laughs> – Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If your name is Jules Ambrose legally, I'm – sorry, I didn't mean it. Didn't um, it then good. we get her backstory with Max. Ugh. I know, but I'm taking credit for your thoughts. Okay. Yeah, that rotten man that Yeah, he's he's a piece of work. He's yep. just been sending her all these messages. Yeah. Um and so things finally come f- f- come to fruition when they're like out at night at a club and he runs into her there and he's like you're going to owe me a favor one day. And she's like freaking out and she's like this is so scary. But then Josh shows up and then they hang out in a closet uh then (laughs) there's yes um surprisingly also no cameras being broken in this book Mm. i was waiting for that also no um then he she goes over to josh's house because she's like Kind of, of like, well, they're going to go, like, hook up or whatever at his house also. But then she stays the night. And, like, one of the rules that they had given themselves were, like, we'll never sleep over. But then they immediately break that rule. Like, in the first day. Like, immediately. They watch Finding Nemo. And she's, like, watches it. And he calls it, or she calls it Finding Nemo is fish propaganda. And then goes on, like, a whole rate, like, tirade about how fish are horrible parents in real life. And yeah, then he like asks her questions about her family life. Yeah. They like start getting personal or whatever. She falls asleep. The next the morning, morning he too. like, which is so me. Like I'm like, yeah, turn yes. it on. I'm not gonna get sleepy. Yeah. Well, and also exactly what happens in Twisted Love. And then he also brings her up to his bedroom. Mm-hmm. Except for she wakes up in the morning. And he's like, he also I'm does. I'm not gonna make you breakfast though. Makes food right. In front Except of he him. already did, just like. I know. But he like makes like a bunch of extra food that he's not eating. Here's the thing: I liked Josh a lot. Okay, I'll defend him up until. You know when my whole perception of him so, is tainted now. Um. Yes. Uh. <laughs> so they just enjoy each other's time. They're like going. They're like talking about school and stuff like that. She's about to graduate, so she's like about to take the bar she's thinking about what it's going to be like to study for it i'm sure courtney can relate not yet give me a couple months it's august girl yeah i know uh 11 months until i have to take it so yep and then like she like goes out with somebody and somebody's like you don't look like a lawsuit student and she's like how am i supposed to look which i'm like maybe he just means like you look young like, you don't look like you're old enough to be in school? And then he's like, yeah, it's because you're a slut. It's like, okay. That is not what she, that's not that's what he says at all. Lies. That's why Josh gets so pissed off. That's what she's, uh, see, the thing is, is I feel like they, like, took it way too personally. I just feel like they both took it personally. Yeah. Yeah. But then they have you know yeah um then max comes back around he's like 
Oh, they like go to the wedding or whatever, and then he sees that they were like at the wedding, and he's like, "I'd recognize you anywhere." Weirdo. Um. Yeah, and then they start to form, surprise, a relationship. Alex asks, what yeah. did, does he ask Al, or he asks Alex, he's like, how did you know? So you loved Ava. Yes. Men. Um, um, and Alex was like, oh, I just kind of wanted to be around her all the time. What a revelation. Yeah. Um, then... If we also then find out that um, the reason why they don't like each other is because Jules overheard Josh telling Ava that Jules was bad news. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and he was like, That's why you guys hate each other? Low key. Um, then find out that her mom dies, which is one chapter of the Very book. Very random. And she goes there and she finds out that her mom didn't love her, which she already knew, but she just gets confirmation of that. And then he, she's like, oh yeah, closure. And then Josh's like, closure, that's the first time I've ever heard of that word. Josh, go to therapy. So then um, we've got the next part, which is they start dating, or they're like going to go on a date. Because Josh is like, all right, I really like her. I want to go out with her. I want to take her on a date. He like goes through this whole plan. He like gets... He, like, does, like, a scavenger hunt for her at, like, a bookstore. He takes her to her favorite bookstore because she's like, I love reading. Don't we all? And <laughs> it's so cute. Like, he, like, has, like, a whole scavenger hunt for her. Like, go, like, what's your favorite food? What's this? What's this? And, like, go look for the books. And then eventually it's like, will you be my girlfriend? And he's, she's like, yes, I'll be your course. How could I say so then they're secret. Yes. So then they're secretly dating and everything is going really good for them. Except it's not. Um... Josh goes out with Alex to a baseball game. Uh, Alex is like, go forgive your dad. And Josh is like, why is everybody telling me to forgive my dad who's been lying to me my whole life? Like, why is everybody like, just go be friends with him? So he goes, and his dad's like, hey, you're a doctor. Give me some pills. And he's like, no. And also, I'm never coming back here again. And also, I hate then he got his dad. closure. Which is valid. Yeah. Valid. Um... At the same time, I, this is when it just gets absolutely ridiculous. Um, so then Jules figures out what jo what Max wants her to do. And it's to steal this ugly ass painting that is over Josh's bed. My first thought is, first of all, you're being blackmailed by this guy. Why don't you just tell Alex? Just tell him. And it'll be all done. It'll be over. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't do that now. Well, or and then this picture too, part comes up. But like, come on, girl. I understand. Yes, like I understand that it would probably be hard and embarrassing for you. But also, like Alex is a super villain, so like he can do. <laughs> he can well. do this. Yes, he can take care of this. And then she Max wants her to steal the painting, and I'm like, just tell Josh you need. You're like, you're gonna take it, and this guy's blackmailing you, and it would be fine. But this is the downfall. So what does she do? She steals it. She steals the painting. She brings it to Max. Max is like, thanks. She also steals up like a bunch of Josh's like not valuable but kind of valuable stuff. So it looks like he got burglar burglarized and he calls the police and the police come and like investigate and apparently just no follow up to that, by the way. Uh, so um, then he, she's like um, it's all right. I've got like this whole plan. So like, it's fine. Cause she had talked to Christian, who's her new landlord, by the way, because she lives with Stella in a high rise condo that they got for a steal in the heart of Washington, DC. So they like, she goes to him and she's like, listen, like I'm being blackmailed. And like, I want you to like, help me get rid of this video so that he can't blackmail mm -hmm. me again. And he's like, why would I help you? And she's like, um, because you're a nice guy. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Once again, go ask Alex. Like, right. it's fine. Um, or go tell Ava. He'll do literally anything for her. Well, so, Alex like, just loves an excuse to be violent, so it doesn't take much. That's also so true because of what happens in this. So, <laughs> um, she, her plan goes well. 
you know, she gets her video deleted. She gets the painting back from Max. Everything's going fine. She goes back to Josh's house to tell Josh the truth. She goes in there to tell Josh the truth. And she's like, listen, um, I lied to you. I'm really sorry. Here's all of your stuff back. Like, I just, I was really embarrassed by this whole situation or whatever. He's like, I forgive you. And then they do it. And then while they're doing it, he tells her, I lied to you. I don't actually don't forgive you. Actually, I hate you. And you're the fucking worst. And I'm like, excuse me? Uh, yeah. This is when I hated him. I hated him from here on out. So then she's like, wait, why why would you say that? And he's like, well, it doesn't feel very good to be lied to, does it? And then he's, like, super mean to her and, like, kicks her out of the house. She goes back to her house, and she's, like, not doing well, obviously. She's like, everything sucks, but I've got to study for the bar. So she, like, takes the bar. Well, (laughs) she takes the first day of the bar. Yes, she takes the first day of the bar. Um... And, uh, she walks down the stairs and Max is there and he pushes her down the stairs at the bar. Cause you know, there's nobody there, you know, the bar notoriously a under supervised, um, no people around test, Mm -hmm. um, famously known for that. Uh, then she gets sent to the hospital and guess who just happens to work at this hospital as the ER on-call doctor that's right josh and josh these are all just yes hi i'm dr chen yeah okay dr chen (laughs) yeah um so he gets mad they yeah so she's like what happened and he's he's like what happened and she's like oh i got like pushed down the stairs by like max or whatever and he goes oh that sucks but then he like goes around and he's like hey alex we need to go cut off this guy's fingernails it seems or, like he well, like walked out mid shift too <laughs> yes it does he's like he's like excuse me woman who is bleeding um from her chest from a massive gaping wound i'll be back to go pl- pull off this man's uh toenails with pliers yeah. so she heads on he heads back over to their he meets up with Alex. He and Alex are, like, about to beat this guy. They, like, beat him up and stuff like that. Like, tr- tie him to a chair. And I'm like, Alex. Or I was like, excuse me, Josh, you are a doctor. <laughs> what are you doing? And even he comes to that realization after the fact. But it's too late, Josh. You suck. I truly yeah. hate you. Um, and then he's like, oh, I'll never. Um, I'll never. Whatever do this again uh blah, 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 whatever so then he meets up with jules again the they go over to alex so alex knows now about how much he likes uh, how much josh likes jules so rather than having alex spill the beans because alex is a little narc even though he's a, a super villain josh and jules said they're gonna go and tell ava they tell ava ava takes it very like fine well like, they don't they don't she's back a- together for a little while which justified He's like, I'm sorry. And then he basically follows around everywhere until she's like, okay. Yeah, that's, yeah. Very similar to the first book. Then he tell they tell her, and Ava takes it fine. Ava's like, yeah, it's super cool. Um, at first she's like, no, but then whatever. Um, then that's pretty much how the yeah. book ends. They're like, we're not going to get married right now. And I was like, thank God. Yep. We're not going to get married, and we're just going to keep living our lives the best that we can. So. Yeah. That's about it. Yep. That's the whole book. Um, What Josh does in this book, like I've mentioned, well, is one of the worst things that a person can do to another person. Like, it is so... I hate using this word because it's so overused in, like, book talk, but it is so toxic and it is so manipulative. And, like, I genuinely do not understand why people like this in book. I do not understand this. It's terrible, but it's also even worse because Josh knows that Jules, like, hasn't really dated people because she always just feels like she's being used physically. 
for her body, right? And yeah. he literally tells her, he's like, you're, you're just a good vagina. Um, after he's like, oh, by the way, I don't forgive you. I hate you. Get the f- out of my house. Yeah. Uh, so, and it was like, he's like, you lied to me. She's the only person who, like, told you the truth, even though she did something pretty bad. Like, should she have told you sooner? Sure. But. Yeah. I also don't think that, like, what she did was all that bad. Like, did she rob him? Yes. But she also got all Listen of his stuff right back. Now. So it's not that Listen bad. to yourself right now. Compared, com- compared to what he does to her, this is not bad. And I think that if she had just been open and honest with the men, unfortunately, the men in this freaking little world, this twisted world, she would have been fine. Yeah. If she would have just told Alex from the start, none of this would have come to pass. All the people in the, all, in the, in the Twisted series are incredibly flawed people. And what she does is not even the worst thing that a character well, in these not, books do, do, not has done. by a long shot. So, like, I don't understand why she's so, like, oh, I'm so, I have to be so perfect. You really think that if you didn't tell, if you told Alex that he would go and use that against you somehow? No. Because he loves Ava. Silly, silly, silly. Foolish. Yeah. We do get a little bit of an introduction to Christian as a character for the next book, the last book. Um, the next, one, the last one, I think, is like age gap because I think that he is like in his. He's friends with Reese. Well, kind of an associate. He's Reed. Yeah, but yeah. So that's about it. Mm-hmm. Mid. So that's twisted. Hate very mid. Not the worst one it's definitely in the rankings it goes two three yeah. one for me and there's quite a disparity the problem between, is uh two and three yeah i just like the thing is, is like if the book had just ended when they got together at the first point it would have been good like i like you don't have to have a third act breakup in order for people to be right. interested in well, your the third book. act could have just been like telling ava working through that yeah. Them getting caught by Ava and Ava being upset over it. Like, that would have been a better third act than oh my God. this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Which sucks, because I, I liked Josh. I thought that he was great up until that point, yeah. so. Men named Josh are evil. Yeah, did you like what Brielle said? That's yeah. how you know it's yeah. fiction. Because she's all this trouble over a man named Josh. Bless your heart, Jules. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Well, I guess that's the end of this one. I, our next non Harry Potter book is Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams. Love Very different Sarah. vibe from this one, I we think. Love Sarah. I know. No smut. Uh, very like. Hallmarky. Feel good rom com Hallmarky. I think it'll be great for a couple of reasons. One, football season starts the week after that. And fall. So true, bestie. Hallmarky, just give me mm. fall energy, fall vibes. Yeah, fall and winter. Mm-hmm. Amen. So, um, that is the end of this mm-hmm. episode. Our next episode that you'll actually be watching is Goblet of Fire. A good one. Yeah, so look out for that one. Um, in the meantime, if you're wondering what we're doing, you can follow us on our social media. We have an Instagram tiktok facebook pinterest and pinterest yes um follow us on there we post content occasionally kind of been off my game a little bit not gonna lie i've been busy i have a job now um yeah i have a job um and yeah that's pretty much it oh we have an etsy store so if you want to support the pod Get a cute little bookmark. Find a link in it in our bio. We have Etsy store. We've got some really cute bookmarks on there for y'all. So if you want to go check it out, please feel free to check it out. Um, I think that's it. Oh, something else I wanted to mention. I might as well just mention at the end of this episode. 
I have some bad news. I don't know if you saw our, our story today, but I checked the cast for Red, White, and Royal Blue, and June is not in in it. That's a crime. Yeah, so that book is a fish, or that movie is definitely dead to me now. What's the oh. reason? What's the purpose? Why? No what? Reason. Why? Why would you do that? She played a huge role too. Like I genuinely don't understand why you would admit her from the. I'm guessing they combined her and Nora into one character, but yeah. it's not no. the same. Boo. Boo. Anyhow, like and subscribe. All right. Yep. <laughs> yep. So like and subscribe for more end of episode updates like this one. <laughs> um, I don't have anything else to say other than I think happy reading. Happy reading. Happy reading.